Night John by Gary Paulson, Chapter 2 One morning I was below the window working in the roses. Some leaves had fallen because of the little green bugs that eat the roses, and I had to chew tobacco leaves and spit on the plants to kill the bugs. I didn't much like to chew on tobacco leaves, though some of the men favored it. It made me sick enough to to near heave my guts. I had to stop, and while I stopped, just under the window, down in the thick leaves, in the soft dirt, I hears it. I swear, if Clell doesn't stop buying hands, we won't have any money left for the dresses. It was the missus, talking to her sister. Her sister, being an older woman, never found a man, dried up and mean, and she hates us. The missus is named Margaret, and her sister is named Elaine, and something so close, or something so close to that. Of course, we never call them by their names, never talk to them at all, and when we talk about them in the quarters, we ain't nobody listening about quarters, peoples, we call them the same as the master, call them dog droppings or horse crap. He went out and bought another hand, said the missus, over a thousand dollars. Honestly, he must think we're made of money. I didn't know counting, but I knew a, a little about of money. Once I found a penny in the dirt by the quarters, and I went to mammy and held it out hide that she told me that's some money somebody will see that and they'll come along and take it from you so i figured money was something to have and keep and i kept the penny hid it in the dirt and at the end of the quarters and i still have it sometimes i take it out when there's no when there ain't anybody around and rub it on my shirt dress until it shines and shines and i knew that there were bigger money than a penny but i didn't know how that all worked that bigger money because it wasn't supposed it wasn't something i learned so when the missus she said about a new hand costing a thousand dollars all i knew is that it was more than a penny maybe or more than many pennies maybe more than all the pennies in the world because they be rich the people in the white house richer than god mammy said once but she was just mad and didn't mean it she'd been praying and got caught at it people in the quarters weren't supposed to pray nor know nothing about god mammy she prayed all the time in her head usually she only prayed out loud late at night when there wasn't anybody to hear sometimes she brought in the big cast iron kettle uh, used for making morning food to pour in the trough for us to eat mammy would put the kettle in the corner of the quarters way back in the dark corner and put her head inside the kettle so the sounds wouldn't carry and she'd pray in a whisper she swore that they could hear like cats up in the big house and the only way to keep safe was to pray in the kettle i one time put my head in the kettle with her lord jesus she said talking to the bottom of the kettle lord jesus you come be making us free free some day in your name amen I was small then and didn't know about being free or even how to think about being free or even what free meant. So I asked her what free meant. Nothing to talk about now, she said. You'll know when you get older, but now you just be quiet and never, never say you heard me praying about being free, which I never did, even after I learned what freedom is and started praying for it my own self, even then. The people in the White House aren't richer than God, I know that, but they be rich, and they be spending a lot of money, and they brought in the new hand for a thousand for a thousand dollars, and that be night, John.